Right now I think British music is like having another heyday and it has several in the past. Um, it's quite exciting that actually quite a lot of British females are kind of coming to the fore, obviously, with particularly Adele flying the flag. Um, but like people like Jessie J, um, Rita Ora, Amy Winehouse uh, pre before she passed away, Duffy had success and like there are just so many and it's like it just keeps coming every time you wake up there's another one making it and then also like on the male front like you know Paolo Nutini and Ed Sheeran and, uh, I heard this week that Ed Sheeran was at number one of the US iTunes chart um, and I'm sure that Ed Sheeran is as surprised as the, as the rest of us about the fact that like just a normal British boy could end up like you know, speaking such a universal language um, to the rest of the world. I don't think, actually, that being British necessarily um, secures you success internationally. I know that I experienced that with my first album, which did really well in the UK and actually didn't do that well internationally. Um, already with this second album, I'm experiencing the opposite side of that which is that like I've now got an American label and they're all kind of really excited and giving it a massive push so I think you know just because you're British doesn't mean it's easy I think it's it's actually in my opinion harder but we just happen to be churning out very high quality music at the moment illegal downloading and um, like other kinds of types of piracy is a massive problem for the music industry now and I think the music industry as a whole has done its fair share of kind of compromising with that in the sense that people are always trying to sort of be innovative in their businesses, trying to combat and think of new exciting ways to create and generate incomes. Um, but obviously, like, you know, the key problem is that people are generally ripping music for free. Um, you know, as an artist myself, I think in an ideal world, it would be amazing if somebody could figure out a way to log who's doing it and, you know, make it punishable properly so that it doesn't happen or it scares people off doing it. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that because I am a creative person rather than a business person. But I'll leave that down to other people. <laughs> With music in particular, I think we're speaking to the world um, in a very inclusive way. And, you know, I just think that, like, it's a vital art form and um, the Brits are kind of flying the flame, not just for the Olympics this year, but also in music.